somebody was asking the other day, what is the difference between science and a scientific approach or so I thought I would uh, just give a clarity on that, then I will uh, move ahead. See, <coughs> when you are when you are studying this particular subject, we generally call it a social science. Uh, the, though there have been debates, you know, whether this can be a science, not a science, etcetera. Uh, you must have considered uh, certain other optionals before you had finalized on anthropology. See, whichever subject you take up, whether that is, I mean, any social science for that matter, uh, subjects like, you know, maybe sociology, subjects like uh, public administration, there is always a debate. I mean, in your syllabus, if you could largely go through the syllabus of UPSC also, there is one topic they generally incorporate, that is whether this is science or an art. There are people who support uh, that particular subject being a science or the people who support it to be an art kind of. But if you could have noticed uh, in anthropology, we do not have the topic at all. We do not try to debate whether it is a science or art. And uh, even if somebody tries to debate, uh, there should be, I mean, uh, the, the, the people who try to debate are those anthropologists who must have studied anthropology right from the beginning. Take it. And it is in that sense, out of all those you know, anthropologists, especially in the classical anthropology, we find only one person that is Fran, that is you know, R. C. Brown, who wanted to make it a science. Take it. This you keep in mind. <coughs> Now, the other term that uh, has come in the question <coughs> from the student was <coughs> the meaning of scientific uh, approach. Uh, see, we are dealing with a subject called anthropology, which is largely a study of humans. Take it. And uh, humans are that species that uh, has this very significant characteristic that is being highly unpredictable. You are there. We are highly unpredictable people, uh, though we call it emotion kind of a thing, <coughs> but sometimes we own, we cannot, we cannot predict our own behaviors, I mean in what circumstances we behave in what way, why you choose something that we have chosen, why we reject certain things, why as a group we like something, as an individual we do not like something our behaviors are considered to be highly irrational and uh, anthropologists are those people who are studying an irrational species, you are there. And when we are studying irrational species, uh, on, on the face of it, on the face of it, if I can call it a science, science is something that is predictable, that is, that is ruled by laws that are predictable, that can be replicated, that can be universally applied wherever I apply a law that has to be universally applied and that has to be predictable, that has to be you know proved by evidences etcetera, etcetera. These are what we call the credentials of something being a science. But because we are dealing with somebody that is rational, we cannot challenge uh, that we can predict the individual, we can predict the behavior of these people and hence you know, having understood this particular phenomena, most of the anthropologists do not try to debate that it is a science are you there. But then, <coughs> even if we are studying something irrational, something that is unpredictable, employing scientific methods of research is something that is essential. 